for Steve Rogbuck. Yeah. New York City, hello! Hi, I'm Steve Rogenbach. My presentation today is called Poetry in the Stream, Infiltrating Tucson, Yik Yak, and Other Online Venues. Um, I have a lot that I want to talk about in the short time slot, so I will get right into it. Um, some of you may not know what Yik Yak is. What do you, do you? Do you, raise your hand if you raise your hand if you don't know what yik yak is. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. But I I want to talk about poetry first because I am a I am a poet, but I uh, but a lot of people don't like that I call myself a poet. I'm most known for my YouTube videos, and I've done lots of other wacky things that don't really fit into to poetry that much. Um, but if you look at the, at the history of poetry, um, and the literary history, you will know that I am right. Um, poetry is a very broad field. You know, the first poets were just reciting shit out of their head. Um, Homer and the people, you know, they, 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 use, they use rhyme and different like epithets, different things to like, stitched together songs, they were called rhapsodes. It was poetry, it was the first poetry. And then, you know, now it's more print books. People know print books, you know, but, um, but also readings, doing readings out of the print book, and then also slam poetry and spoken word, where it's, a, it's recitation, but it's with these new contemporary tropes. You know, they sort of have their scene and they do their thing. And then Vispo, does anybody know what Vispo is? <laughs> Very rare, very rare. Uh, this poem means visual poetry. It's short for visual poetry. It's a sort of interchangeable term with uh, concrete poetry. Basically, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's people using the materials of language, words, and sometimes just letters to make visual designs. Um, a lot of people would see visual concrete poetry and say that's just like graphic design. People just like making art out of letters. But that's how broad poetry is. Broad uh, poetry is extremely broad. Does anybody know about the one word poems and one letter poems? Very rare poet of the 20th century, Aram Saroyan, did this one word poem. Very groundbreaking. It was the word light, but it was spelled L I G H G H T. Shit. The extra G H. And it was a poem. Oh my god. And then he did a one letter poem. It's just the letter M with an extra hum. Fuck you. And that's a poem too. So when people tell me that tweets aren't poetry or that my vlog isn't literature, I'm like, sit down and read a fucking history book. Um, as a clown, who's a piece of shit, I feel obligated. Adrian wrote about me in Gawker a couple years ago, and I included there that Ezra Pound is a piece of shit too, in my quote for that article, but Ezra said, great literature is simply language charged with meaning to the utmost possible degree. So I feel, ah, I like this quote. And I feel that, uh, <laughs> and therefore it's correct. And, you know, literature, poetry, is simply when we're paying extra attention to our language. When we are doing interesting things with language on purpose. We're doing language play, we're paying attention to the sound of language, we're paying attention to the way it looks, we're paying attention to the rhythm, all these things. You know, it doesn't have to look a certain way, it's very fluid. So, poetry in the stream is this title of a presentation that I've done a few times at different universities and stuff. And um, basically the question is, anywhere you see language on the internet, what if we put poetry in that place or in that form? Because the internet has lots of language in many forms. Have any of you ever scrolled down a Tumblr? Not even once. Snatch form? <laughs> It's very exciting if you like to see literature in different forms, because there's many. There's animated GIFs that have language on them. There's cartoons that have language in them. There's captions on photos. 
there's many different ways to, to present language on the internet. So this is exciting for a poet who has such a broad idea of what poetry is. It's like, oh, we can put, po we can put it all these places. Very nice. Now this is a chat poem I made on Omegle.com, which is a don't, I don't recommend the site. <laughs> but this was an interaction I had, chatting with a stranger. <laughs> and the great thing about Omegle.com, the only great thing about it perhaps, <laughs> is that you can make a poem with somebody who does not know they're in a poem. <laughs> and people come there for one reason and then you hit them with something else. And so, anyway. But I, I had this presentation where I give all these different examples of different places on the internet, different, different poets who are doing interesting stuff with Twitter, interesting stuff with image-based poetries, and there's lots of different exciting things that I can talk about, but for this presentation, I'm going to talk about Yik Yak. And if you don't know, if you don't know what it is, uh, I'll tell you what it is. It's, um, it's anonymous. You, you post anonymously, but it's people within your geographical area, so within a few miles or something. And it's mostly a younger demographic that uses it. It's usually on college campuses, and sometimes high school kids, I think, use it, and, and various others in there. But um, it's short posts, like on Twitter, but you can also upvote and downvote them. And you can also comment. And they just added also images. I just saw this recently in there, very aft up. But anyway, if you get your post upvoted enough, then it gets added to the hot column and gets seen by more people that way. Or if you get downvoted to negative five votes, then it gets deleted off there. So it's sort of a cleaning mechanism for all the anonymous shit that people want to post on there. And um, so what was I? Okay, so this was some of the, my, some of my first, my basic impulse on Yik Yak is to post weird stuff and see if I can get it to stay up. And these were just a few of my original <laughs> Just a few of my basic yaks. Horse launcher. Strap the horse onto my other horse. Absolutely loving my butthole right now. Um, and you know, these stayed up. Other ones I posted got voted off. Um, but they're relatively low scores, though. These aren't going to be seen by that many people. These aren't in the hot column. These, you know, nothing special. So, anyway, one of the tactics that I went for after this... This isn't that funny of a slide. Um, the thing with Yik Yak, because of the college demographic, is that I was on there, and it's like, I live in Tucson now, which... I've got, <laughs> I have a Tucson U of A shirt on, which is kind of a joke to me, but um, you won't know that, I guess. But anyway, um, I was on, and U of A runs the Yik Yak in my town, basically. It's all U of A students, University of Arizona. And um, basically, this one day I was on there, and everybody was yakking about, <laughs> everybody's yakking it up, about this upcoming game against Wisconsin. Now, I don't even know what sport it was. <laughs> it was. It was Saturday against Wisconsin, and fuck Wisconsin, and we're gonna kick Wisconsin's ass, and all this, and I'm like, I can't take this. And I'm like, you know what? I need to voice my opposition to this. <laughs> Maybe there's others who agree, you know? So I said this, I said, I don't care at all about sports. Direct antagonism. You can see already when I screenshot it was nicked down to negative three. But then I got these comments too, telling me to leave, saying I don't care about you, and somebody saying that bye Felicia. <laughs> you know? So this was, and this quickly got voted off. It was, it was not on there long. Um, what was, um, okay, so, the clicker is new to me. Very rare. I like this, though. It's good. Um, anyway, the direct antagonism didn't really work. It just got voted off right away, right? So I'm like, I need something more subtle. I need to get in there, you know, really, really get in the form, you know, adapt to the forms, blend in. <laughs> and so they, I, I noticed with this Wisconsin game coming up, they were yakking, somebody started this meme, 
They started this meme on there saying, if we beat Wisconsin, I'm going to do something that they wouldn't normally do. And I don't remember many of the other ones. I didn't screenshot any of them, but I was like, I can use this. And I posted, if we beat Wisconsin, I'll suck a cat's dick. And this worked. You see, up to 10 upvotes by the time it was done, which is not amazing, but it's higher than any of the other things I posted. This is, consi this is good behavior. <laughs> we decided this is what we want in our community, and this is the proper way to cheer for your sports team. <laughs> so this was a good, this was a success. And then another one that I did too, where I was, I was noticing this form, I was noticing the meme that, it, that arose in the community, was during an exam week different time on Yik Yak. And uh, people were posting this thing because they didn't want to do their studying for exams or whatever. They were posting procrastination level and then something they were doing to procrastinate, you know. And so I got in there with this one. Procrastination level, sewing dead clown body parts into my roommate's mattress. And this one got even higher voted up. I think it made it truly relatable to them, you know? I was like, yes. How many times have you found yourself? 3 a.m. exam week. What am I doing? Sewing clown parts into my roommate's mattress. Truly amazing. Um, then the broader thing that I was like, okay, you know, those are very specific memes. There's a very specific form that I jumped into, but a broader thing that I was thinking of and testing was like school spirit because it's so college on these on this platform. And I was like, what if I just get in there and 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 you know have the school spirit and then say something you know different after? What, what will they you know what what will they do? How they handle that? So. At Tucson, in Tucson, in U of A, we have, at, at U of A, they have this slogan, um, I don't go to U of A, but um, we, they, we have this slogan um, where we love to say, bear down. It's what they say, bear down, bear the fuck down, BTFD, bear down. And, uh, uh, and it was confusing to me at first when I moved there because I'm like, Wait, is the team like the bears or something? But no, the team, the team is the wildcats. It's not, it's not the bears. I don't know why that's the same. Uh, I heard somebody explain it, but anyway, it's um. So they were saying bear down, and so I came, I hit them with this one. Bear the fuck down. We need to end capitalism as soon as possible. And now this is three minutes after the post. You see, things are going okay. We have a positive comment, we have a supportive comment, and we have the score of one, although you can see that it was me who upvoted it. So, but I really wanted my yak to succeed, you know, I upload my own yaks sometimes to help them out, you know. And I thought, okay, we can, we can do this, and it, and it was hovering around zero, around one for a while. It's like people couldn't decide exactly. It's like, well, I like bearing down. <laughs> I'm a little about ending capitalism, though. Um, and then it was voted off. And also it got this comment, what the fuck are you talking about? Russia lost the Cold War for a reason you think of. <laughs> so ultimately, it did not succeed, but it may have done better than it otherwise would have. Um, and then I had another, I was up at Bowdoin College in Maine, very rare, and uh, I had some school spirit for them as well up there. I love Bowdoin because everyone here poops like four times a day while we are so regular and so ridiculous. The best school. So this one is my most successful yeah. 38, including my own upload. And uh, it's truly, uh, this just took the cake. So this was my success story. And then some people had some... <laughs> some troubling response to go. So that's, that's my presentation, and if you're interested,
interested, if you're, <laughs> if you're interested uh, to see more of my work and, and other stuff that relates to these subjects, this is a Tumblr that I started back in 2011, Internet Poetry. Lots of different internet forms. Uh, the poetry adapt mainly images, but different things on there. Yolo Pages is a poetry anthology that I helped co and I co-edited, and it includes a lot of young, exciting poets. Um, not all of them using internet forms, but some of them. And then more of my stuff. I'm Steve Roganbug. A lot of people like my YouTube videos, so if you haven't seen them, maybe check that out. But thank you for listening. Six six six.